In the test, you will also be expected to perform what's called direct editing or direct modeling. In this case, I am going to give a demonstration of a couple of different possibilities of modify menu. You could be expected to press pull. Uh, perhaps they'll expect you to press pull and increase the diameter uh, by five millimeters, hypothetically. That is one way to do it. Or you could maybe ex uh, extrude or extend uh, if you are prompted to do so in a linear fashion instead of a circular fashion. Let's imagine that they asked for an additional 10 millimeters. We could do that also. So those are types of directs, direct edits that you may be prompted for. You may also be prompted to create a hole. Okay, so it is a very realistic possibility that you may be prompted to place a hole. And if you are uh, careful and read through each of the specifications on that hole, uh, for example, it might ask for a countersinking and it might ask for specific uh, depths and dimensions. If you type all of those in correctly, then you would have satisfied those requirements. In this case, I'm imagining 75 millimeters. Oh, let's go ahead and go 85 so that we're all the way through this profile. Those are the types of direct editing features that you may be expected to perform. You may also be expected to provide a shell of a dimension, okay? And once you shell out a dimension to the uh, specified thickness that they request, for example, let's imagine two millimeters, you would then have performed the operation that they requested. However, as always, this does not give you the answer to a question. They may then end up prompting you to find a missing value, like what is the new value of this uh, diameter or radius. And you would be able to use the measure tool to find that. Okay, and as always, be prepared for the fact they might ask you instead to find the volume or the mass in grams. Again, I'm right clicking from the body on the browser window and I'm finding properties in this box right here. Uh, mass of 694.826 grams, etc. So those values would appear on the list of possible selections. If they did not, then I would have gotten something wrong. I may also be prompted to create a drawing from design. And by doing that, I would select the object that I was working on and type OK. At that point in time, I would place my, va my base view. I could be subject to all sorts of other questions, including performing a section view so that I cut through the material and then take specific data uh, from the new view at that time. Okay, so once I place that view, then I might be prompted to, for example, find a missing value that way. So these are also possibilities. You need to ensure that you check the correct box on the options back in the exam window once you have found the value.